What's up, people? Surprise. It's uh, it's Friday evening uh, on my side of the world, 6 p.m. Uh, nice to hear uh, in the U.K. It's, uh, it's, it's a warm day. That's nice. Bring spring on for all you guys out there that don't get to live in uh, the paradise of South Florida. Uh, is Mr. Wrangler rooting for the bots already? That's not cool. I mean, <laughs> so what, I, what I've done this week, if you if you haven't been following this week, it's OK. I'll tell you what happened. We had, as usual, four episodes of the weekly challenge. This is going to be the last episode. Uh, I played three challenges with the robots, two four board uh, imps slash mass match points and one non best hand imps. And I have lost two out of the three of those. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be eight boards. But it's just declare. So I, as you can see, I'm already into the play on this. I didn't join. Uh, I didn't join you guys late. This was just the auction, right? So the the robots are preparing the auction for us. So it's one no Trump all pass. So this is going to be the first board, and these are the toughest ones to deal with with the robots. Um, they they play almost flawlessly. In fact, I've played twice today just to kind of get the screen uh, set up, uh, pasted in correctly, and I've tied them both times zero zero and three three. So it's it's bound to be a close match. Uh, especially when we play just declare, but I'm just going to take you through my thought process. And hopefully if we win this, it should count as two because uh, we're playing twice as many boards. So this is going to be two points for the victor. And if the robots win, I just get almost swept for the week. So let's take a look at this hand. Uh, I have a terrible hand in my partner's side, two points. Uh, and it just went a no Trump all pass, but let's just count our winners from this point forward. And I see only four, right? I'm going to count three heart losers because the heart lead's coming toward me. And honestly, if they hop up with the queen over here, I might get four tricks. And then I just have the ace of clubs, right? Where are my extra tricks going to come from? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, you know, maybe one might come from hearts, as we discussed. The rest, maybe a club trick, maybe a spade uh, in the offing if they really get off to this. But here, this is why we play just declare sometimes. They're going to put you in a just a dumpster fire of a contract occasionally. And you don't have to worry, right? You can go down two and still get a good result. Because remember, the robot at the other table has to play this exact same contract. So this is what we're doing here. Uh, wow, people from all over the Madrid, UK. Let's go, people. Nice. Uh, all right, here we go. We're going to play a low heart. And here, I'm playing a low heart because maybe they hop up with the queen to my right. Usually... <laughs> Usually in a real world situation, I would expect this person to have the queen. But as we know, the robots don't make normal leads. And there it is. Okay. So now, folks, now I have a fourth trick. Uh, I'm going to win the ace of hearts. And the question is, should I take my hearts and then keep going? Or should I try to build more tricks? What do you guys think? Let's see. I don't know how many people are watching right now. I kind of put this up last minute. This is the luxury of having your own bridge channel. You can just kind of decide to... Play some bridge live and uh, and invite some people into your uh, into your office here. So welcome everybody, uh, New Zealand. Welcome. Wow, this is awesome. It's a truly international crowd on a Friday night here. Nice. Uh, I hope you guys have a cocktail ready for this if you're in the if you're in the hour that I am. All right. So my question is, uh, and if you if you joined us late, here's what's happened so far. Uh, we we are in a just declare tournament, right? So all we're playing is just declare, and we see that the robot led a heart and it went queen to our ace. So now we've gained a heart trick, but should we take our hearts now and then just be done with it, or should we do something else? What do you guys think? There, Yoon is in there with a very nice comment. All right, so we've gained something really important here. We have gained an entry, the 10 of hearts. So if we're going to set up some club tricks, which is our absolute best source of tricks at this point, we want to do this now. And then we'll try to take our hearts later. Now, we do risk something. We risk them opening up diamonds or spades to some bunches of tricks. But I'm willing to risk that here, and you should be also. And welcome. Yeah, I, I know this time is different than any time I'm usually on. So I'm hoping we can catch some people that aren't able to see us live and get a little live event here. So here we go. Ace of clubs. Let's pray for something good. That's nice right there. King of clubs. We like that. Australia. This is amazing. Okay, so look at this, guys. The robot is just being amazingly helpful on the Friday evening game here. We're going to hop up with this 10 of hearts. They haven't broken any of the side suits yet. And honestly, when that first trick doesn't go that well for you, you probably should think of some sort of switch. Very important right now. There are no entries left in this dummy. So we need to take our queen of clubs, and we're hoping we see the jack fall. Uh, I'm going to pitch a spade here, and we didn't see the jack fall. So now, folks, it is take the money and run town. And look at this. We only have four winners, right? 
and we have two winners left. That's six. But that's all we're going to take. And honestly, they have a club trick. They have at least three spades and at least two diamonds. And they can take more than that. So here it's time to take the money and run and hope, really hope, that they give us an extra trick in the wash because they make a mistake. Unlikely to happen with the robots, but you never know. I'm just going to kind of protect diamonds and hope somebody's just stuck with the ace, king of diamonds or something. There was our clubs. And here, I mean, down one, I don't know. That shouldn't be too terrible. Let's look at the results right after this because, really, we're wide open in both diamonds and spades. And you can see they're just taking their tricks and they're smothering them together. That's a good sign. When the opponents are smacking an ace-king together at the end, it's pretty good. And, yeah, they can just take the first seven tricks, to be honest. And then a club at, at, uh, at some point as well. Right? Take a look, folks. We're in one no trump in the south here. And let me make sure my, my correct thing is here. Uh, so when they lead a heart, just a weird choice of leads. Diamond would be your best lead. And notice how being a normal person would have helped the robot. Now, I know the robot can't change who they are, you know. But just imagine they're a normal human being and they decide to lead a diamond. Now, honestly, you might lead a heart on a no-trump option because we didn't explore a major suit fit. But you would certainly lead the seven or even the nine if you're playing true top of nothing. But here, diamond to the king, diamond through would give them four diamonds, three spades. And then, guess what? We're going to take four hearts in a club, but what else are we going to get? My goodness, we might be down two. All right, so here, can't be upset with down one. And once again, I didn't get a chance to see the auction on this at all. Let's, let's pop it up. So when you're playing a Just Declare challenge or a Just Declare tournament, it's really important to look at the auction. Sometimes it's not going to be the least bit helpful, which is right now. <laughs> you, your opponents said nothing, so you don't really have to look too much further into the auction. You just need to now look at the hands and, and take your tricks. Uh, let's let's look at this, folks. How many losers can you count? Uh, should you count right away on this one? It's interesting. Take a moment. Play it along with me. And welcome to everybody joining live. This is just kind of a surprise Friday. I I've been just slammed busy all week and i happen to have like a, f a rare friday night where i'm not really doing much uh and watching golf basically so i decided to uh, have a live end of the week challenge with eight boards yeah so the way i would count my losers uh is this way I'm, i know i'm gonna just take a club loser almost always right i also know i have a little diamond loser over here that i might be able to get rid of by trumping and then I have a heart loser possibly 50% of the time. It depends on where the queen is. So to be honest, we could take 12 tricks or even 13 if we're really lucky. Uh, here's what I'm going to do first, though. I'm going to win this. And then I'm going to immediately lead a club, folks. And, and here's why. I want them to play secondhand low when it's wrong for them. And, and the earlier you do this, the less information the opponents have for this sort of play. Now, the... the so, so this is this is a you know a good news bad news situation. They hopped up with the ace of clubs, so I'm going to realize that loser. But what do I get to do with the king of clubs now? Yeah, I get to throw away a loser, right? So here, this was not a bad thing for us. And in fact, if they want to return a club, we'll we'll take that gift as well. All right, so here we're going to be a little careful. We're going to draw a couple rounds of trump, and I'm going to draw them from dummy first. And let's hope they break even. Okay, now that they break evenly, the hand is over, right? King of clubs, there goes our heart loser, and then a heart to the king, and we're going to trump that beer card there, the seven of diamonds. And now the ace of hearts gets played, and the rest is history. If trumps didn't break there, folks, in fact, let me let me get you over that results stream there, and I'll show you. Uh, if trumps didn't break, I would try to trump that third diamond before drawing the rest of the trump, that's all. So... So here, um, if we jump over to this side, 680 is a pretty good score. Uh, we never have to worry about missing a slam or anything because the robots bid this for us, right? They, we can't bid anymore. So if we make 13 tricks, it doesn't matter. They can't be higher at the other table. So this is just a nice play. We didn't necessarily have to do this right away, but the earlier you do this, the more often you produce the wrong play, right? Because the opponent just has less information. Here, the robot just nails it, obviously. Mr. Robot. Uh, so, Mr. Wrangler, if you're rooting for the robots, they crushed it on this one. <laughs> so, and now there's the diamond switch. We'll win that. So we try trumps here, and we need to play the king, queen of spades first because if trumps are breaking badly, we're likely going to need the ace unless we see the 10 fall early, right? So here it's important to play the top two honors from that side. And then if we didn't see a break here, we could cross over to a heart or trump a club, 
trump a diamond, come back to our hand, and draw the last trump with the ace, right? Hope Did I go too quickly there, folks? Tell me. Tell me in the chat. You have control of this challenge episode, so you can tell me if I'm going too quickly, too slowly. We certainly don't get too much of an opportunity to see the auction, do we? These robots kind of get in there pretty quickly. And here, once again, no information for us on this one. A diamond, a heart, a spade, two diamonds. That's all she wrote on this. So we're going to play two diamonds. And woo, let's see. Interesting stuff here. Three of hearts is the lead. Um, this is likely just you know low from three or four, something like that. Um, I am going to play low here because I can certainly realize an extra trick in hearts. And honestly, I'm not terribly worried about what they might switch to on their side. So here, we're, we're generating a heart trick now, we hope, in the future by this play. Here, I'm going to also be a little passive here and play low. I hope I'm not generating any roughs for them, but now that they've gotten this on the table, we just need to be a little careful. Um, interesting. I kind of want to make this play right now, but yeah, I'm going to be in my hand now. Here's the thing. I want to draw Trump. I, I really do at some point. In fact, it's getting to a dangerous situation where I do need to draw Trump. But I also know that if, the way I want to draw Trump is to play ace of diamonds and then lead a diamond towards the king jack. Notice that's the only way I can take a finesse. I can't play the jack from dummy over there because I don't have the 10, right? So they can cover it and just bamboozle me there. So here, I need the queen to be here, so that's where I'm going to play it to be. But if I play ace of diamonds, diamond over here now, now I don't really have a great way back to my hand to play hearts other than trumping a heart. And honestly, I want them to maybe cover if they have it. They didn't do that. So here, I'm going to play ace of hearts. I would assume they would cover here. And now I'm going to play diamond of the ace, diamond of the jack, like I'm supposed to. Eight ever, nine never, folks. There it is. And now maybe we're in some business here. I'm going to play this. I guess I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to play a heart. I'm going to play a heart and rough it and then exit a club if I need to. Uh, but then they could cash heart. I don't know. I think we're okay. Heart, trumpet. We're hoping for an honor. We didn't see it. And now notice I can't play clubs from, sorry, spades from my side of the table. Uh, I wanted to play, I have to play a club. So I'm going to exit here. I know this is a loser. And I'm just trying to score the king of spades at some point. And here I might get to do it now. Now I have to lead a spade towards my hand. I could play the ten of hearts. I mean, righty has the heart though. I mean, if it, I'm pretty sure righty has a heart because they didn't cover. And now I'm in the same position. So I'm just going to play a little spade of the king. Oh, it worked. Okay, nice. There's our eighth trick. So it looks like righty had ace, queen of spades, and the king of hearts. Is that right? So there's the ace of spades, and there's the king of hearts. Okay, so we couldn't get it wrong at the end there. And that's nice of the robot to let us make two on, on the second board. So just real quick, I just want to jump in and, and show you that situation in diamonds, right? Um, in diamonds, we have only one way to go, right? Only towards the king jack. If I take this 10 over here and I put it in this hand, now I have kind of two ways I can finesse. I can play low to the jack 10 or I can play the jack and finesse righty for the queen. Here... It's kind of just dialed in for you to do it correctly, and that's towards that King Jack holding. So not too bad. I mean, they, they've given us three hands. We've made two out of three, and the first one looked like it was pretty hopeless. Uh, they put us in four hearts now. What, what are we doing here? Okay, no bids by the opponents. Once again, it's pretty rare to go through a full eight board uh, session without the opponents bidding at some point. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of information from them. This hand's going to be very fast. <laughs> Take a look. We... We have a diamond, a heart, and that should be, I'm sorry, a spade and a heart loser, and that should be all we lose. Um, we have a whole bunch of clubs over there. And <laughs> now we might not lose a spade, folks. This might be bad for them. The king of hearts, we're just going to draw trump. They pitched a club, I think, over there in the first one. So that's the way I count this, right? Six we started with, or sorry, no, seven we started with. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's 13. Okay. We're good. King of clubs. And I can just claim now. Notice the four clubs. I'm going to park all four spades on those things over there. I have the ace, king, and diamonds, and good trump. Make me six. That was not a good play by the robots there. They needed to cash that ace of spades. That club suit, when you're defending, let me just give the robots a little advice over here. When you're defending over there, this suit should terrify you, right? It should just it should put the fear of, of the bridge gods into you. So after you've already drawn the first round of Trump and can see that we're very likely going to be able to draw the rest of our Trump on this, it's time to uh, it's time to cash your trick, right? It's pretty important. All right, let's get back to it. 
Uh, one no Trump in the South. What happened here? Did we, it looks like, let me guess. Wait, I'm going to guess the auction. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, folks. This is not going to be very hard. We opened a no Trump and it went all pass. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should play that for money next time we do this live. <laughs> guess the auction. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have some interesting ones for sure. Okay. What are my winner counts right away? It's pretty impressive, to be honest. You guys see? How many are we looking at so far? Take a moment. Count your winners. Tell me what you get. And welcome to all of you joining for a special surprise Friday night weekly challenge. Again, playing Just Declare, eight boards. And this is for two points for the weekly challenge. So I, 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 I'm cheating, basically. I lost the first. Uh, I lost one, 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 lost one. So I'm, I'm one and two. So this is my hope. Yeah, it's seven winners. And the reason it's seven, folks, some of you might have counted six only. But the heart lead is coming from our left, as usual, right, towards our ace queen. So we can count this for at least two tricks. Um, we may make a bunch more. Uh, we're gonna, we're certainly gonna try to here. So that's a nice look right there, the king. Uh, normally, I would assume the jack of hearts is here, but with the robots playing, you never know. Um, the club play is gonna be the play I'm gonna want to make here. I'm just gonna play low. Okay. So notice, why the heck am I doing this, folks? Just because I want to be weird. Uh, I do like to be weird, but no. This is for a really good reason. How many entries do I have to that dummy over there? How many times am I going to reach the dummy? Well, I'm going to reach it twice, and they're both in the club suit. And notice when I have five opposite three like this, uh, I am losing one club pretty much every single time. Okay? So I lose it early, and now I have an entry over there and some some business to do. So my question for you is, I'm going to ask you the question, and then I'm going to show you how I would figure it out. And I kind of like this. Um, take this trick. Uh, I'm going to ask you to make your play. And my, cho my two choices are going to be uh, take this trick or duck. So take trick now or duck, meaning play low. Make your choice, folks, and then I'm gonna kind. I'm gonna tell you how I would go about determining if it's right to play low in some situations versus others. So this is your one of your few opportunities so far to get in here. Sorry if I haven't involved you guys too much, but it's funny. The just declare stuff is pretty interesting. They deprive you of some of those juicy bidding choices. Don't be don't be afraid to ask questions in the chat. By the way. This is for all of you, and uh, this, I thank you also for staying tuned to the weekly challenge. This is my first live session in this in this event. I hope you're enjoying it. All right, so 83% of you now, let's see what the final total is. 83% want to play low now. So, so here's how I determine whether it's right for me to play low. I'm going to count my winners again, except I'm going to be super generous with how many I think I could take. Okay, so right now I'm, I have one in the bank, right? I'm going to assume that clubs are breaking. And even though I know they're not, they may not be. Let's just be generous. Let's be optimistic. So there's four winners if those break. There's another winner in diamonds. There's two winners in spades. And now let's be even more generous and say, hey, if the heart jack is in the right spot, let's count two for that, right? So if this is like our best case scenario, so if I count them all, four, five, seven, nine, that means I'm going to take 10 tricks total on my best day. So if I play low here, how many tricks am I going to be losing total? Only two, right? So, so here, that's how you're going to figure this out. This one is way more clear because we have more losers. But in other situations, you might be very close to taking the rest of the tricks. You want to do this exercise every time. So here, perfectly fine to play low. And another reason it's pretty reasonable to play low is this is the worst suit for us. We don't mind if they switch. In fact, if they switch to a heart, they might give us a chance to take more tricks than normal. That was an interesting play. They ducked. They they dumped the queen of diamonds underneath that. That's it. Looks encouraging, folks. <laughs> so so now do that same math, right? Here, if I play low, I'm giving up a third trick, which means the most I can take is ten, and then they may be able to take an extra trick, maybe not. Um, but now I'm in that same category. I can take 10 on my best day here, so I don't need to play low anymore. And now here I go. I'm going to play a club to the ace. Let's see if they broke evenly. There we go, folks. And now notice I get to take my last club while I'm over there. 
And this is the benefit of playing low first. And then these two clubs are good, and I'm in the exact right spot for them. And look at what right-hand opponent pitched away. They pitched a hard away. We like that one. We like, oh, wait, they pitched another hard away. So let's go back to the beginning. We started with four hearts. There were two in dummy. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what's going on in hearts so far. So the 11, 11. We have 11. One more, folks. Do it one time. Pitch a heart. Pitch a heart. Nah. But now, now we have we have an interesting if we were playing we're playing imps, right? Okay, so th thank you for making our decision for us, Mr. Robot. Uh we now know we can take the Queen of Hearts. And now the question is, are we gonna get two spades? What was the diamond position? We we had three opposite three, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that eleven? I guess all we're taking is nine tricks. So if we lose a heart, no, then we could lose two diamonds if diamonds aren't breaking evenly. But if we lose a heart, that person has to have a diamond, right? They have to have more than one diamond. Yeah, let's let's give it a roll here. Maybe the spades are just going to be in our hand and the heart's good. Yeah, nice work. Okay. I, I don't know why. I'm not, I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I feel all of you there with me. So here we we actually hooked us, hooked ourselves up with another trick by surrendering a heart there. If we cash our spades they have a spade trick to take. So we we garnered one extra one. Maybe that'll be the difference. Every tiny little nugget helps, to be honest. It's amazing how crazy these tournaments are. Ah, nice. Yeah, they just had two diamonds over there. Weird. Ooh, looks like uh, wait, I have to ask you guys an important question on the next one. But here we go, making four. That's got to be pretty good. Uh, and there we were, folks. We, had, we did end up taking um, taking 10 tricks. Oops, excuse me. Let's uh, let's not take the whole uh, thing down here. We did end up taking ten tricks from the spot that we we knew we should start taking tricks from. Right? We lost one more in the wash, but that traded off everything for us. So we will take that. And and for those of you that decided to play low, eighty three percent of you, obviously an amazing play. All right. So here, whose birthday is it? It's definitely not the Fourth of July. Is it anyone's birthday out there? All right, is anyone watching? Is it your birthday? If it is, happy birthday. In fact. Anyone's birthdays that were relatively recent, uh, you know, here's a belated happy birthday and a, a happy birthday in the future for those of you who are close. But we're playing five of a minor, folks. We're usually not supposed to do this except for those special days. Uh, however, at first glance, it looks like it's probably a pretty good contract. <laughs> Take a look at this hand. Our partner, uh, we only really, I guess we have nine tricks if we're playing no trump from our side, right? If partner plays no trump, which I wouldn't imagine they'd ever would offer that with a void, we have no chance because the king is here and the ace is behind us of spades. So here, uh, we're happy to be playing five clubs. And this one's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to trump this, obviously. And I don't need to trump high. I can trump low here. It's very unlikely left-hand opponent has 11 spades. <laughs> they probably would have bid again. <laughs> uh, so here, we're just going to play low. And now we have a good king of spades. And we're going to use that to park a heart loser over there. So we're really sitting pretty here. Um, one thing I need to tell you guys about this club holding here. We actually have 10 or we started with 10 clubs. So this is not, we, we know there's only three left out there. But just for all of your purposes, if we only started with nine or eight even, and we see the top three honors, play the honor from the side that has two first. If, uh, if one of my students, Kelly, is in the audience, uh, she knows this is divorce the couple, right? You have two winners on one side, one on the other. Play the honor from one side first. And now let's pretend. Let's pretend we only had nine clubs, folks, even though, again, we know we had ten. But suspend disbelief for just a second. Let's say we're starting from here. That would mean left-hand opponent has jack fourth of clubs. And notice, I have the easiest solution ever. I win this trick in dummy. I lead low to my ace. And then I get to take a marked finesse towards the jack next. Um, it, it's not going to matter here. But notice, if right-hand opponent had four clubs and left-hand opponent had zero, we can do the exact same thing in the opposite direction. And that's because we have honors still on both sides that are higher than the card we're missing. Right. But here we didn't we we knew by the way we counted this hand that this was going to happen anyway. There were only three clubs. And now let's take a let's park our loser and then just surrender a heart. Right. So here's the king of spades. There goes our heart loser. Notice the diamonds are all winners. Uh, so all we're going to have is one heart loser, and we're going to make sure that's the ace. <laughs> it, it's okay to lose to the ace. Never lose to anything smaller, and that is claim city. I, I, this, By the way, this might look to you like we're doing great, 
do not get excited. We are probably tied or maybe maybe even behind. Who knows, right? This this robot just declares stuff is so precise that, uh, in fact, that last hand, there's no chance we didn't tie it, right? So it looks good, but the robots bid it for us, so all the stuff is in the play, and sometimes when you don't have a lot to do in the play, it's going to be very average stuff. Um, wow, we're in two spades. Good bid by partner. They did not uh, they didn't do anything weird here. They just raised spades. Um, if you, I guess this hand is probably good enough for two spades, but if you were worried or if you had maybe less of a, if your club suit was less, you could bid a no trump and then bid two spades just to sell a really bad hand. But here, I would ask you to count the losers, but it's too depressing, right? It's not too bad, I guess. Um, but they would they would probably be pretty well served to lead trump at some point because I'm going to try to trump a diamond and dummy if I can. Um, but the downside to them leading trump is if they lead too many, Maybe I just run clubs on them and it's over. So let's let's hope they do draw more Trump in this situation. Nah, they're too smart. Look at the robots. Look at these robots. Uh, was that the Queen of Spades, by the way? That was the Ace of Spades. Ooh, okay. I mean, now we have some life here. And left-hand opponent led a spade, correct, on the last trick? Who won the first trick? Did it come? Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean... It, it's tempting you know so here's what i'm here's what i'm considering should we take the ace of diamonds cross to the king of clubs play the ten of spades i think that's pretty pretty good because they still can't tap us out on this one so here we might risk a little bit of a rough in clubs at some point but here it's too juicy of a situation oh yeah nice now we know that's happening and now high card short side make sure you don't block yourself ace of clubs now I get to win my club on the hand that has many clubs. And there go my diamonds. There goes that beer card again. Too early. All right. Making four. That feels good, but mm, you'll see the score. All right. One, one more chance to excel. This is our last chance. Ooh, partner Michaels. And now, it finally, last board, we get some bidding by the opponents. Let's scope it out here. A club on our left. Two clubs by partner, which is the Michaels Q bid. Three clubs, which should just be a weak raise or a competitive raise, yes. Yeah, so they, they have ways to qubit to show other things because we showed both majors. And our hand just hopped up to four hearts with their double fit. So whenever you see the opponents bidding, get your calculator out here. Don't need too much, right? We're only counting to 40, but let's start adding them up. Left-hand opponent opened. So let's just give them 12 points. We actually have 11, and our partner has 10. I forgot to tell you, I'm pretty sure these – just declares our best hand tournaments so now let's give each of us 11 that's a lot of information and then this player 10 that's 11 22 32 this player has about eight i would say that's pretty close this player either has eight or nine okay um and this player also has long they both have long clubs obviously uh we're gonna play low they're gonna i mean they should cash their club let's see if they do there it is and now we're just going to play hearts and hope our spades are, are doing reasonably well here. So uh, I would guess righty is probably longer in something than, than anybody else here. Let's play ace of hearts. Too bad. Yep, so they did have queen of hearts there. Now what's the question? What's going on in spades? Let's see if we can figure it out. We said that righty had about eight, right? So what have they shown up with so far? <laughs> if I only remembered. Queen of hearts for sure, right? Um what did they have in uh, in the club suit there? What was that? Did they show any points in that suit? Anyone remember? Give me some help here, folks. Uh, I I mean, here's the thing. I don't. I think both players have room for it at this point, but I just can't remember the exact cards they played over there. But whatever. I'm just gonna play a spade to my king, and I'm gonna take a spade finesse. Eight ever, nine never. And it lost. But if they just have another spade, it's the same exact situation. Looks like we are going to go down one. And they did have a third spade. Thank you. Okay. So we're, we're okay in this situation. Nothing we're doing here. And it's just a cross rough. They have a trump left. They'll take it whenever they want. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't matter what we do there. Unfortunate that both finesses are losing. And there's nothing we can do about either one. And well, look at that. Tie ball game, folks. We lost the first one. They somehow made one no trump. Ridiculous on the first hand. And and then uh, and then we actually gained two, gained two on the last two boards. So it really mattered. Look at this, folks. 
such a crazy situation when you play just declare they're just so good and i gotta see what they did on board one so let me take a a, a second here and get us to the correct stream of results man tie ball game at four unbelievable so here's our one note trump ad uh there's us and honestly i mean are we supposed to make this at some point it looks like we're destined to be down two on any normal lead including the heart that they led but somehow the robot just made this thing so what the heck did they do to themselves <laughs> so there's normal lead same as we got right so they burned their hard entry right away they just ran hearts we definitely weren't going to do that and then they just exited a spade and the, the insanity ensued apparently they know how to mess with each other for extra tricks it looks like they just they just kept banging down winners oh my god they could have led through the diamond they didn't have to do the spade here oh man brutal now this hand just has winners and the ace of clubs left for making one that was honestly the deciding hand here this one they only were able to make two spades. We actually came out ahead on this one just by making that uh, that decision to not duck the diamond and just take our tricks. All right, so that was a win for us. And this one, even with four hearts going down two, uh, we actually – oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we – well, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> we, we beat four hearts one – or we went down one, and they went down two on this last board. I'm wondering – I'm wondering how they did that, but I don't think it matters too much. Uh, so it says we ranked number one, but we can't count it. It's a tie. So this is a losing week to the robot. But, man, I can't. I, I enjoyed this, and, and I'm glad you guys got a chance to, to join live, especially those of you that aren't able to join live at the, uh, at the 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning, which is uh, – which is the restricted time for the Wednesday morning tournament. But uh, if you have any questions, I'll stick around for a bit. But thank you for joining live. And if you didn't get to join live, I'll do this again at some point soon. And I'll give you guys a little more notice in the future. But I hope you enjoy everything. And uh, we will live to fight another day next week after a rough tie with the robots. Four to four, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Robot. Four to four. I don't... I don't uh, I just I know they're just amazing at this, right? They're just so good at at just knowing how to declare. And also, um, you could see on board one, they they really knew how to uh, to mine for extra tricks. Just by hey, go ahead. I know you're me over there in those seats. Do what I would do and just take those tricks and smack those cards together, and then you're awesome. <laughs> all right, folks. Thank you so much for joining, and uh, I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful weekend. And if you haven't seen it yet, hop into that weekend tournament. I think I'll have time to, to uh, do a little uh, uh, video on that as well. So I'll see you for that. Take care, folks.